My own parents had anything but low expectations for me and my sister. Okay, so they didn't tell us to become doctors or lawyers or anything like that, but my dad did read to us about Aristotle and pioneer germ fighters when lots of other kids were hearing the wheels on the bus go round and round. Well, we heard that one too, but pioneer germ fighters totally rules. <laughs> I loved to write from the age of four, and when I was six, my mom bought me my own laptop equipped with Microsoft Word. Thank you, Bill Gates, and thank you, Mom. I wrote over 300 short stories on that little laptop, and I wanted to get published. Instead of just scoffing at this heresy that a kid wanted to get published, or saying, wait until you're older, my parents were really supportive. Many publishers were not quite so encouraging. One large children's publisher ironically saying that they didn't work with children. <laughs> Might want a children's publisher not work with children. I don't know, you're kind of alienating large client there. <laughs> now, one publisher, Action Publishing, was willing to take that leap and trust me and to listen to what I had to say. They published my first book, Flying Fingers, you see it here, and from there on it's gone to speaking at hundreds of schools, keynoting to thousands of educators, and finally today, speaking to you. I appreciate your attention today because to show that you truly care, you listen. But there's a problem with this rosy picture of kids being so much better than adults. Kids grow up and become adults just like you. <laughs> or just like you, really? The goal is not to turn kids into your kind of adult, but rather better adults than you have been, which may be a little challenging consider your guys' credentials. Um, but the way progress happens is because new generations and new eras grow and develop and become better than the previous ones. It's the reason we're not in the dark ages anymore. No matter your position or place in life, it is imperative to create opportunities for children so that we can grow up to blow you away. <laughs> Adults and fellow Tedsters, you need to listen and learn from kids, entrust us and expect more from us. You must lend an ear today because we are the leaders of tomorrow, which means we're going to be taking care of you and your old and senile. No, no, just kidding. Actually, um, no, really, we are going to be the next generation, the one who will bring this world forward. And in case you don't think that this really has meaning for you, remember that cloning is possible, and that involves going through childhood again, in which case you will want to be heard just like my generation. Now, the world needs opportunities for new leaders and new ideas. Kids need opportunities to lead and succeed. Are you ready to make the match? Because the world's problems shouldn't be the human family's heirloom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.